Hello guys, Ivan here, and this is 2022 Lamborghini Urus in this beautiful orange paint. So in this video we'll go and take a look at the exterior interior and also the infotainment system. Let's take a look and listen to the refs and the sound with cold start by the Akrapovich Racing Exhaust. is painted in beautiful Arancho Borealis paint. You can see here the front headlights, full LED headlights with this signature LED strap in hexagonal shape on the end and very distinctive design with Urus. So with Urus you will get a very distinctive design with a Volkswagen Group platform on this SUV. This shares various components with uh, Audi Q8 and also with the uh, Porsche Cayenne but it's heavily redesigned and heavily re-engineered to have the maximum Lamborghini DNA within the Euros character so here as you can see very nice design it has like a coupe shape so the Urus is powered by a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 engine producing 650 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque, that's 625 pound feet of torque. From 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour takes only 3.6 seconds and reaches top speed of 305 kilometers per hour or 190 miles per hour. And this Urus has very nice black gloss style package and high gloss black details so similar to what we know as a night package everywhere in the Urus you can find these hexagonal shapes which make Urus and Lamborghini brand very distinctive under the fuel cap you can find the recommended fuel you should use the best fuel which you can find 100 octane in Europe or more Urus also on the fuel cap now we can take a look at the rear, very distinctive again, very similar design to what we have in the front LED lights. We have also at these rear LED lights and Akrapovich Racing Exhaust. Let's take a look and listen to the refs and the sound with cold start. Here we can see the 3D shape of the tail lamps. It looks very, very sporty and distinctive. Lamborghini branding in the middle. We don't actually have a Urus branding uh, at the rear which is really interesting but probably you know that this is Urus if you can see this car so there is no point to have it uh, as a badge on the rear and also the shoulders and front fenders everything is so angular literal Italian flag stripe and here we have the wheels and tires P0 are the tires here from Pirelli 285 35 23 inch so pretty large tires so these are 23 inch shiny black tie jet wheels and we have also carbon ceramic brakes with orange calipers so these kind of brakes are needed to stop this vehicle which is larger and has a sporty performance the orange calipers complement the orange paint very nicely indeed and fenders are also in shiny black because of this high gloss black package so very nice complementing each other 325 30 are 23 are the rear wheels they are wider much wider than the front tires because the most of the power is sent to the rear axle so within the Volkswagen group now we have also Cayenne Turbo GT which is very similar to Euros in performance so let me know which one do you like more the Urus or the Cayenne Turbo GT here you can see also the key fob with Lamborghini design, very nice key fob indeed. And now let's take a look at cargo capacity of the Urus. So the boot space in Urus is 616 liters, that's 21.75 cubic feet. 
here you can see the divider which you can push so we have little better loading space the tailgate is obviously electric so with these buttons on the left side of the boot you can actually lower the boot itself if you have some heavy objects which you need to put in the boot and under in the floor you can find the tire so the spare tire is 195 65 21 inch so this is only like emergency tire but it's better than nothing sticker verification of the original paint so let's close the tailgate and let's take a look at the interior of this beautiful urus so now let's open the doors and check out the interior so here we have the privacy glass and also acoustic and heat insulated glass which is on two layers as you can see for better heat and sound isolation so now let's take a look at the interior so in this case we have very nice and more or less classic spec but with orange touches so this interior is in unicolor leather with the base color Nero Ede which is black and contrast color is also Nero Ede which is also black also as you can see here digital cockpit and Italian stripe and the steering wheel and everywhere you can see this orange stitching in the vehicle and this is Arancio Leonis that's the name of this orange stitching hexagonal shape everywhere in the seats the same as on the exterior we have also Sensonum premium sound system and ambient light package also here you can see how the front looks from the rear really looks amazing just a gorgeous SUV sporty performance and stylish as well all right so this will be just a short overview here we have orange stitching with leather italian flag in the urus here you can see for the cruise control i believe this is active cruise control you can select here the distance so this is active cruise control here we have also controls for the lights and for the windows everywhere here are hexagonal shapes digital virtual cockpit and here you can see the larger screen in combination with buttons and another screen so in my opinion the Lamborghini touch uh, adds to this vehicle a lot because it looks much better here with this for example this this looks really exciting to me also the driving modes so here you have a Strada this also changes here with virtual cockpit so this is for snow Neve Terra is the ground like a mud Sabia is uh, sand Corsa is the most sporty driving mode sport is like the middle one and Strada is street in Italian so that means uh, like a comfort mode the most uh, compliant mode here we have uh, sensors parktronic sensors for parking for the automatic parking and also release the parking brake and here we have some armrest we do are charging for phone and a little space also we have uh, ports here and check out this gorgeous Lamborghini logo here and also the stitching in a hexagonal shape with perforation really sick I really like this uh, this Urus I would probably buy the Urus but I, I believe it's more expensive than Huracan so I would end up probably with the Huracan but the Urus is the most uh, daily which you can get so that's uh, great here you can see the spec sheet and other bits and pieces so overall really amazing overall really amazing vehicle now let's close the front door we have soft close on front and also on the rear so you don't need to slam the doors and if you open the rear doors you can see Sansonum premium sound speakers also with this hexagonal shape so it's everywhere in this car and quite a lot of space actually in the roof I have to say in the rear so lots of practicality within the roof definitely for the rear soft close too you can check my full in-depth review with Huracan 
and it's really detailed so here just a quick overview of the interior of the rear it's pretty gorgeous you can turn off here the lights and here you can see for the AC and some 12 volt sockets heated seats yeah you can turn off everything here I believe this has a ventilated seats as well and yeah full comfort so basically Audi has uh, given the Lamborghini these technologies so basically it's on the same platform as uh, Audi Q8 which is very good because uh, yeah that's a good technology to have for Lamborghini and Lamborghini adds this emotional touch so I don't believe these cars are similar in driving experience even though I don't I didn't drive them but I believe uh, that the Euros is much more brutal that's what everyone is saying than the Audi and uh, yeah otherwise who would buy Audi if you would have a same experience this is much more emotional the Urus so it's a brutality for daily driving basically with your kids but you can also have it as a comfort car so that's really really great all right guys so that's it for this video let me know how do you like this orange Urus and what kind of vehicles you would like to see in the video next. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.